The other two results, nil-nil between RGB and San Antonio. 3-1 currently to Las Vegas over New Mexico. There's the whistle and away we go. It is Sacramento Republic and Phoenix Rising. Closing coming up on the weekend, so a couple of games to look forward to. Phoenix Rising, it's the same, but they'll be facing RGV as Darnell King is in. King tries to square it, runs all the way through, and the shot is dragged wide. Fendi Varela getting the start tonight and finding himself in a good scoring opportunity early. Fortunately, they lost to Las Vegas at the end of May when they had their first in league play. Darnell King colliding with Sanchez. Referee has a decision to make. It's a yellow card to Sanchez. Charging forward is Christian Pirano. Torres lost his footing as Pirano sends the cross in. Arshamed glances his header wide. Just eight combined touches for both Trejo and Arteaga. Another foul. That's going to get Renzo Zambrano booked. We'll go back to the foul a few minutes previous. And that is what the referee is saying. He brought down Pirano earlier. So roll all the way out of play. Seems like every game in this Western Conference, with it being as tight as it is at this part in the, of the table, every game so important as this is cut back for Trejo. Trejo for Arteaga. Manuel Arteaga wide. Just found a bit of a window to get the shot away. Couldn't put it on target. Players to step up because that's Timber. That's one of the three center backs already high up the field. And as Emmanuel Arteaga, he makes this run. It allows Desmond to drop off, and there's that gap that Danny Trejo just understands. I just pull off my side. Arteaga gets on the end of it, does all the hard part. He creates his own space, a little drag back to his left foot. But Trejo lets it run through. King going to ground. Referee wanted to see the advantage play out instead. It'll be a yellow card for the Phoenix captain. And there is the final whistle. Well, not a lot between these two sides to be completely frank through 45 minutes. like Eddie Manjoma preparing to come on, but this is slipped in for Gabby Torres. Square ball, it's Arteaga! Fires it home and fires Phoenix into the lead! 1-0! To Varela, as he just provides a width wide. Gabby Torres understands real estate's gonna be centrally off the shoulder of Tamer between him and Jack Kerr. The continuation of his run, and it's all about the composure. You need to draw in Vidiello, pick out a red jersey, and it's at number nine, once again, Manuel Arteaga. The pullback of the run off the heels of Danny Trejo, because he pulls out Desmond. The real estate is about 12 yards out. Reinforcements on the way for Sacramento Republic as well. As now, all of a sudden, they are chasing this game. Tactically, Harvey's going to play centrally next to Jose Hernandez, so that double pivot. Talk about the versatility for Carlos Harvey. We've seen him play on the back line. We've seen him play wide and also play as a center midfielder. So that balance needs to be very good for the remaining of this match for Phoenix Rising. Carlos Harvey's going to stay at home just a tiny bit more. So Jose Hernandez is going to have the ability just to advance himself into that final third and watch out here. Arteaga! It's Danny Trejo, Trejo scores! Just like that, Phoenix double the lead! Arteaga to Trejo, who's atop the Golden Boot race, 2-0! Back, last week it was Connor Donovan, and now it's a sloppy pass from Desmond, and as he has to recover, it leaves a big hole on the far end. The weak side is so important. There's no reaction from Shane Wheat to come across Danny Trejo. Smells, smells blood in the water. Advances himself. The verticality from his run. Doesn't hit it as cleanly as he would like. Vidiel doesn't get do enough to push it wide of his post. And off to the corner to celebrate. Trello goes down. And Traore 
Makes a connection there with Pirano, and that will see him into the book. Lopez delivers. The header is looping into the corner. Shane Wheat. And Sacramento Republic have pulled one back. It's 2-1, six minutes to go. Just needs to be playing out better for Phoenix Rising. Too many players on their heels. This is not X and O's. This is just a willingness to get on the end of it and to beat your individual mark. Don't even know if Shane Wheat gets his head on it. He hits off his shoulder, but he gets it better of when Mayor clears day. Sacramento trying to avoid its first losing streak of the season. Phoenix looking for its first winning streak since May. Slipped in behind, Roro Lopez. Creates that little bit of confusion. Who's gonna step, who's gonna drop? Roro Lopez has been terrific since coming on. Lopez serves, the header's down. Oh, the sting taken out of it and held onto by Rios Novo. Keep the ball on the ground, maybe, maybe have them great little back here. Arteaga for Trejo. Can Phoenix put this away for good? Danny Trejo right down the shoot, taken by Vitiello. Sacramento has not won here in Phoenix since 2018. And this, a foul against Uzo, and a free kick coming. His reaction says it all. Rising FC number 67. Carlos no need for Header away by Fuenmayor. Pretzen. And that is the final whistle. And Phoenix get a massive 2-1 win over Sacramento Republic.